Hi, this is Justin from Ajar Productions. In this video, I want to show you another feature that's coming out in N5 version 3.3. It lets you export directly to a Google ad so that you can create HTML5 animated ads with Adobe InDesign, no programming, no manual editing of code. Part of what's been complicated in the past about creating an HTML5 ad for Google Ads is that there are these really specific requirements. I want to highlight a few of those requirements for you on this Google support page. First, you have to take all of your assets and zip them up together. That's the easy part. And one of the other modifications that N5 makes when you export as a Google ad is that it takes out any reference to local storage because your ad won't validate if there's any code in there that references local storage even if it's not used. N5 has that in there so you can have the ability to return to the last page visited but when exporting to a Google ad N5 automatically removes that for you so that your ad will validate. There's an HTML5 validator that checks your zip file for all the requirements in this document. I'll show you that in a moment. So here are a few custom elements that you would have had to manually add that are unique to Google Ads. First, there's this meta tag that sets the size of the ad, the height and the width. That has to go into the HTML in the right place. And then there's this idea of a click tag. So Google doesn't want you to have any actual URLs in your links. They want you to reference click tags that are defined in your HTML file. So it's JavaScript, but it's defined in your HTML file. And that's how Google Ads knows if someone successfully clicked on your links or not. They have to be defined as these click tags. So if that's enough to make your head spin, don't worry about it. You don't have to think about any of this now. N5 will do it for you. You just have to create your design in InDesign. So let's switch over to InDesign and I'll show you a sample ad I built. So here's my ad. I've got a bunch of animation built in here. I'll show you in the timing panel. And there are two elements that I really want to highlight for you just to show that I didn't set up anything special about this document, right? I just created it with animation, fonts, buttons, normal stuff. So I have this button here built within five. And in the buttons and forms panel, I've given it an action of go to URL. And then I typed a URL inside that field, right? So it's just a normal hyperlink. I didn't do anything special with a click tag. Now in this text, if I select this and go into the hyperlinks panel, you can see that there is a hyperlink applied here as well. Again, no special click tag. Now I'm going to export this with N5 by going up to File or N5 and choosing Export HTML5 with N5. Like I said, there's nothing special about this document. I'm just going to choose Google Add as the output format. Now that it's exported, let's take a look at the browser. You can see the animation, hover over, the button's working, and so is the hyperlink. Now let's make sure this is an actual working ad using the HTML5 validator. So I'm just going to go to upload my file. And in the folder, you can see in addition to the normal HTML5 output folder, it also created a zip file for me. So I'm going to select that zip file and start the validation. Now the validation can take a few minutes or a few seconds. Uh, sometimes it errors out and just have to submit it again. But there's the ad playing in the validator. If we scroll down, we can see all of those requirements have been met and this is a valid ad. Now if I hover over this button and highlight the URL at the bottom, you can see it's converted the URL on that button to a click tag and same thing with the hyperlink here. And we can also test those landing pages. I'm not going to do that right now because I know those are both working pages. What I want to show you real quickly in the content of the HTML file is that the ad size meta tag is there and the click tags are there. And you can, of course, update them if you want to. But you didn't actually have to touch this HTML file. In5 did it for you. This is one more type of interactive content that you can create in InDesign and then export with In5 without doing any coding whatsoever. Thanks so much for watching this video and checking out this new feature with me. If you want to see more videos of features like this or examples from customers using N5, please subscribe to this channel.